Hello, my name's Anthony McGowan, and I'm going to talk to you about a book which has massively influenced my um, my development as a writer. Um, it's a book not very well known in the English-speaking world. It's a book called Gargantua and Pantagruel by Francois Rabelais, who is a medieval French monk. Um, now, it, it's uh, very hard to summarise the plot of Gargantua and Pantagruel, but essentially it concerns the adventures of a giant uh, in, in medieval, medieval Europe. Um, but what's particularly, uh, I think, interesting about Rabelais is not the narrative, but the style. So what Rabelais does is to combine a reasonably high level of philosophical speculation with this wonderfully grotesque, obscene comedy of the human body. Uh, and I, I read this for the first time when I had a very boring job and a long commute in London. And I worked my way along um, a shelf full of black-spined Penguin classics. And when I got to this, um, I realised within a few pages that I'd, I'd found my book. Uh, the book that I wanted to, um, not emulate, but that, that I knew was going to, I suppose, influence my style. I've been looking for a style up to that point. And in Rabelais, I finally find it. This combination of, of filth and philosophy. Uh, there's a very famous passage in, 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 in um, Gargantua and Pantagruel where one of the main characters is trying to find the, um, the softest thing to wipe his bottom on. And he goes through this list of different things he tries. It goes on for about 10 pages of different items of clothing and materials and then animals. And he finally concludes that the, uh, the best thing to wipe your bottom on in medieval Europe is the soft and downy neck of a goose. Uh, and when I read that, I was on the, on the tube at the time, I just exploded in laughter and thought, yes, this is my author. <laughs> this is my style. So that, that's my book, um, Gargantua and Pantagruel by Francois Rabelais.